What's up, TV fans? And of course, we got our first victory against the Phoenix Suns for us. Uh, I told you guys, I got this. I got this. This time, we're actually going up against Monotoy or the Tampa Bay Lux Rays. Nice name, bro. We actually faced Lux Ray before. Season 2, we faced the Good Lux Ray game. And we beat him to a silly pulp with a hair across. And. With that said, here I'm across the part of this game too, so BOOM! We're gonna make this shit work, and I have no intention of losing. Because I like it. Ugh. So, his team is as follows. We got Mega Blastoise, Cure Black, Scorpion, Cresselia, Gligar, Magneton, Dianchi, Golug, and Audino. Not a tough team to go at. Sorry man, that team is inferior to, of course, the likes of Scissor. So, therefore, we have a choice banded Scissor this time, yes. And actually we have, that is full HP one, with of course the likes of knockoff, U-turn. We're gonna have to be forced to U-turn every time actually, because he has Magneton. Magneton is the only thing that could fend this man up. If he, if he solves the Magneton or the Scissor issue, he might just win this game, but it's... Highly unlikely. And I bullet punch, because bullet punch just hurts everything. There is really an only Magneton can take that hit. And of course, he's faced a mega scissor last week. And let's just say like this, he got some scolding to do because that mega scissor got five kills. I have just the same amount of issues here, so I'm gonna go with the same thing. So sis, if you're watching this. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, focus! Brrr. Next round, Heracross, Assault Vessel this time around. With enough speed, so speed actually a uh, modest Magneton, if we knock off this card. Assault Vessel mostly for Blastoise, and we have enough special defense investment to actually take three Hydro Pumps. Um, outside of that, I don't really want to get Skull Bird, that's why we're guts, because a close combat just makes short work out of Blastoise. Hey, I'm got boosted, of course. So not a really big issue there. Very straightforward. And Heracross looks to be a very, very good Pokemon Rishem for this game. And has knock off, of course, too, for the Ligar, which is an obvious wall for, of course, Heracross. And there is no way of me actually tackling that outside of the Nature Gift Ice, which I was thinking about doing, but... Yeah, need a Salt Fest for Blastoise, because I definitely have nothing for my team that can take that on properly. Outside of Volcania, which I'm not bringing. Um, yeah. With that said, next one, Grapeon. Yes! Grapeon is a very, very good mod for this matchup. It can deal with, of course, the likes of Cresselia. Actually, that should be the only part of it. Like, Cresselia is. can't touch Grapeon properly. And we have Sword Stance. Um, we have Knockoff. Poison Jam doesn't really seem to fill any role here, therefore. Um, giving that up for the likes of Earthquake for Magneton and uh, Ice Fang for um, Gligar. If I have a knockoff Ice Fang combo, I am very likely to take out the Gligar. Uh, the rolls, if for a full defensive one, is Knight Super so I feel the confident that that's the situation I want to be at. Gligar is an issue for a team, like stated, but I have the mods to pull it out of. Now, with that said, we also have Thunder's T. Huh. That right. We're not speed investment to outspeed a adamant, um, adamant scolipede. Yeah, uh, we're scarf too, which means that if he is um, adamant and uh, gets a speed boost, we're still faster, which means we can two it kill it pretty much. And I have enough, uh, or actually, since I choose to be, uh, <clears throat> I guess it was hasty or something like that instead of mild or like that. Basically. I have more defense than um, special defense. I won't take any special defensive hits. There is no way I would do that. But I can take a poison jab from the Skull and Pete after rock. So that's something to have in mind. That's pretty much the situation that I will be forced to be at. He will get rocks up with Gligar at the end of this team. Uh, there is really nothing for me of actually trying to stop him from pulling that off. And after that, we have Sceptile. Yes, Sceptile made this game very, very. Like on the edge there between Sceptile and Darfan. Darfan brings something to the table, but he has a QRM, so Darfan is out and Sceptile is faster. 
Scepter is actually passed on Scolipede, obviously, so it's a nice mod to have. Uh, we have Dragon Balls, Grass Nut, we actually want it killed, Blastoise, if it's not special defensive. Uh, then we have Substitute, I was juggling between Substitute and Agility. Uh, Substitute might be the better option, because he always, he always gotta go for Protect, of course, against my Scepter to speed it. Substitute might just solve that issue for me. And last move is Hidden Power Ground. Hidden Power Ground is there basically to pick up Magneton. We have enough speed to outspeed a Scarf Magneton. So, Receptile looks to be a very, very nice mod. It can't dent Cresselia, but it can't hurt it. And I think that's the most important part. Uh, outside of that, our last mod for this battle is Frostlass. Svex, Frostlass, wait. Trick, in case you need to use that. Um, but that's not the most important part. Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. Very, very straightforward one, and uh, it's gonna dent his team basically. It does a lot of damage to his whole team, and I'm feeling confident that set will work. So, yeah, that's the team, guys. That's the team. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's the most, what what he can do to me that are dangerous. But, Tampa Bay Luxray, I'm not scared of you. Your inferior electric dog, whatever. Can I call it Lion? Yeah, yeah, whatever, bro. Call it whatever you like. Dragon, bro. I'm a dragon. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of the talking to the other trainer, the not the Viking Rander, who's more calm to tell you guys about the rest. Because I'm recording this a bit early, which means there might be some changes. I'm just saying. So thank you everybody for watching, and may Odin be with you! <laughs> okay, so obviously that's the team, alright? Um. <laughs> I can't barely watch myself <laughs> doing that, but okay, and I didn't really do any like big changes here, but I did change the set for Scissor, it's an Akabar set for this game, so it was a last minute change basically, but I kind of decided that I needed to make Scissor somewhat more viable for, um, for his team basically, so um, it, while well, the choice banner set is fairly dangerous, uh, I can get a lot of momentum for pretty much every matchup since the Scissor actually can set up against almost anything outside of maybe Blastoise and I do believe uh, Magneton obviously. So I, go, I went for Bullet Punch, Super Power, Roost and Sword Stats and that should prove helpful. I was considering over Roost actually have Agility to kind of ensure that I can Sword Stats and outspeed any mods but Roost felt the most viable since obviously there are things here that do hurt us. Uh, we're going full HP, 200, 252, uh, defenses at Jubilee 56 to avoid a 2-hit KO from Scalipede uh, after rocks. I feel that, that rocks are gonna come up one way or another, so having that in mind is pretty helpful. And then the rest on special defense, which I do believe was 208. And that should be a 2-hit, um, or that should make, ensure that Magneton can 2-hit KO us with, um, in the power fire. Uh, unless, of course, he got some analytic things going, then you know we have a different situation. But highly unlikely. Uh, so yeah, that's the team. And I didn't really say on the video which Pokemon I think he will bring in. And uh, I have to assume Mega Blastoise and Magneton are coming. They are given for me. Gligar is definitely up there. Um, Gligar basically because he can set up rocks against me. I think that's a mod that can actually take on a lot of my mods. And then we got Scolipede. Scolipede is a very, very good late game sweeper. And while my team, in theory, can take it on, it's a thing that I have to kind of be. I have to avoid like tougher situations with that. Um, outside of that, the last two mods is up to him. Uh, I don't see the Yenshi, Golurk, or Audino. I, I really don't. I don't think they'll make it. So, a good guess would be that Cresselia and Curin B is gonna join the team. Cresselia makes sense. Uh, makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, Curin B, maybe not so much, consider his last game. But it's between Curin B and Dianchi, and uh, they're both definitely mods that can't be destroyed by Scissor. Um, outside of that, I mean, that's pretty much the size of things. Uh, I'm feeling that I might have screwed up here across this game. Uh, I really need a salt vest, like I said in the video, but at the same time, I was really considering Natural Gift with Ice to win against the Gligar. I do believe that's a situation I'm gonna be facing, and I'm not sure I can, can, can kind of yeah, come out on top and speak. Uh, but that's the thing. I'm actually recording this on Monday. Uh, we're having the game in probably two hours. So, uh, yeah, stressful week upcoming, so I had to re record all these things early. 
The Viking thing, by the way, I was very lucky I didn't mention the monster because I actually recorded that on the Wednesday. <laughs> so well before the week even started. Uh, but yeah, he didn't mention a thing, so I always thought I was lucky, so I can just set that video in motion. Um, but outside of that, like I said, uh, if he solves the Magneton issue versus Scissor, then he's pretty much going to win. Um, it's a tough tough thing knowing that, but I think that's my best call, really. Um, and outside of that, this is a tough matchup. It actually really is. Uh, I have a lot of things that works against him, but he has a bulky team, so... Even if I punch hole in the team, he can recover with the likes of Chris Elliott and Ligar. So I'm feeling that's a situation I have to adjust to and have to do that well. And um, I just have to hope I do the better place because Manu is a good player. And uh, I he, he has beaten me before, so I feel I have to get out, redeem myself this time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the size of things. I really hope you guys are looking forward to this game. I am definitely doing that. I think this team or this team is the right team for him. So I'm feeling confident that I should win. But like I said, if he solves the marathon issue, then he, he's gonna win and he's gonna take it. I don't see myself coming out on top if my um, precautions for the marathon is not working. So with all that said, guys, I'll see you next or tomorrow with, of course, the battle in mind. So until then guys, take care, and remember, may Odin be with you. Bye.